Hi, this is Eric Martin, Report Game Geek. I'm here with Adam Rayberg from Adam's Apple Games, looking at Thrive, Hello. Uh, which I recall seeing you were showing it. Uh, was it last Gamma? We had it last Previous Gamma, Gamma in prototype form. Yes. Yep, we just funded it, and we are just finally seeing final components, so it's it's super exciting. Okay, so maybe give an overview of how the game works. Yeah. Uh, so... I get an idea already just looking at the pegs laid out here. We're going to be moving them in some manner. That's right. And adding more pegs. This is a build-your-own chess piece kind of game. So okay. it's a classic abstract. Welcome to the pond, right? On your turn, you are going to be moving any one of your six lotus pods. All right. You can move one space forward by default based on the neutral peg. The colored peg is where your piece is at any given point in time. That's right. That's right. the center point and center point. Of the it's pod. not going to change. Yep. Okay. After you move, you're going to place two pegs in any one of your pieces, any one of your peg holes. So I could place here, let's say, to turn my piece into a little bit of a knight, right? Okay. And maybe place here. So now okay. you have an option to move one or two spaces exactly. forward. Exactly. Opponent would take their turn back to me. Now I can move here or here, right? Here or here. So I'm growing and evolving my movement as the game progresses. Now, okay. the goal of the game is to capture opponents, classic abstract. All right, so we re remove that opponent from the uh, from the board. If I can remove my opponents down to one piece, then I win the game. Okay, and that's the only goal. Remove the opponent's pieces. There's no bonus to getting you to it. the opposite side of the board. So you want to start adding as well movement backwards, In fact, forwards, other directions. Getting to one side of the board or positioning yourself into a corner can actually be a detriment because you need to add pegs to be able to move your super powered piece backwards, right? It's a This is a, fa a fascinating game because there's not really, uh, you don't have to remember what the chess piece does. You build it as you go. Okay. Um, and so you might want to, a, a great beginner strategy is to superpower one of the chess pieces, one, one of the lotus pods, right? Uh, and just <laughs> hop all over the place. But as soon as that thing gets taken, now you're short stacked on the peg economy. Right. Yes, all your investment is gone. Yeah, so okay. yeah, we're just we're really happy about the the production value. Um, it's on a fabric mat, which is great. Um, we have these custom wooden pegs. Uh, we have uh, plastic pieces right here. They're 10 grams, but the final is going to be 40 grams. So it's super chunky, heavyweight, abstract game. Okay, a little and, lotus. Uh, uh, little embedded lotus in here. inlay, yeah. Okay. Um, just going for something zen-like, beautiful, and approachable. Okay, and when do you expect the game to be out? Uh, so we expect to be out into the hobby uh, June, July this year. Yep. Okay. So okay. we're still fighting through the logistics of that. That's right. Yep. Every date that someone mentions, there's an asterisk it's after always it. always an asterisk. Yes. Yep. We'll see how things work out here. Thank you very much, Adam, for, for an overview me. of Thrive from Adam's Apple Games. Awesome. Thank you.